hello welcome back today i'm going to show you how to set up begin checkout tag for google ads conversion with google tag manager i have made separate videos for all conversions of google ads like page view view item add to cart i have given the link in the description you should watch them also first let me introduce myself i'm sultan a professional web analyst providing services on marketplaces like on upwork i'm a top rated talent and on Fiverr, I am a level 1 seller. If you need my services, you can place an order on these marketplaces or you can contact me on my Gmail or WhatsApp number like you can see below the video. So now let's start the tutorial. In the beginning, I am assuming that you have a website, a Google Ads account and a Google Tag Manager account. Now you want to run ads campaign on Google so before that you need to set up google ads conversion tags on your website basically i will follow here two steps first i will create a conversion on google ads account and then create a tag on google tag manager so first let's create a conversion on google ads account so go to google ads account then from goals click on conversions and then go to summary then click on new conversion action in this stage, select the kind of conversion you want to track. Here obviously I will select website. Enter here the URL for the website where we want to measure conversions. It's only for checking if it's already set up to measure conversions. So here is the URL and then scan. Here you go, scanning is complete. There are two options we can see. We can create conversion stacks either using web events or create them manually. We have to choose here the second options that means create them manually. So you scroll down and then click here add a conversion action manually. Then select the goal category. I will choose from here begin checkout. Then conversion action optimization options. I will choose from here primary and then give the conversion a name. I will name it Google Ads begin checkout. Then we have to select here value type. There are three types of value like same value, different value and don't use a value that means no value. Since the products of our website have different values so I will choose from here different values and keep this default value as it is because we will create a variable on GTM for this value and configure that with this begin checkout tag as an event parameter. In the next step we have to choose how we want to count conversions how many conversions to count per click or per interactions in our case we want to count every conversions you can see it says it's recommended for purchases because every purchase is valuable in fact not only purchases for an e-commerce business all conversions like page views view items add to carts begin checkouts all conversions are valuable so i will select from here every then keep all the settings as there then done here you go our conversion is created now click on save and continue in this step it's giving us instructions to finish the setup we can see there are three methods like setup with a google tag or email instructions to your developer or you can use google tag manager so obviously i will select from here google tag manager all I need from here is this conversion ID and this conversion label. Now I will keep this tab open and go to Google Tag Manager. Then take a new tag, then tag configuration and choose from here Google Ads, then Google Ads conversion tracking. We have to enter here conversion ID. So now either I can go to Google Ads account and copy this conversion ID and then go to google tag manager and paste here but for your information this conversion id is necessary for all tags of google ads conversion and this conversion id is the same for all tags so i have created a constant variable for this conversion id so alternatively i can click on this plus icon and choose that constant variable so now i can delete this plain digits and then conversion label so go back to google ads account and then copy this conversion label and then paste here then conversion value 
transaction ID and currency code. We know transaction ID means order ID and that's only for purchase event. Before happening any purchase, we can't get any order ID. So this parameter is unnecessary for begin checkout event. So we will skip this parameter. But for conversion value and currency code, we have to create variables. For that, I have to go to preview from Google Tag Manager. So I will duplicate this tab and then go to preview. Enter here website URL and click on connect. Here you go, tag assistant connected. Now let's make a begin checkout event. Then add to cart, then checkout. We can see here on the page URL, we have checkout here. That means we are on checkout page now. So now let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue. We can see on the left menu, begin checkout event. So I will click here. Then I will click on this down arrow. Here we can see the event name is begin checkout and this is the data layer. I will create currency parameter and value parameter using this data layer. So I will copy from here e-commerce and then currency and then value. Then I will go to the first tab of Google Tag Manager and then from conversion value I will click on this plus icon to create the variable. Then again this plus icon then variable configuration and choose from here data layer variable and the data layer variable name will be paste here e-commerce and then dot and then value then entitle the variable i will entitle it begin checkout value and then save we can see the variable is inserted already here then currency code so i will click again on this plus icon and then again on this plus icon then variable configuration and choose from here data layer variable and this variable name will be paste here e-commerce then dot then currency then entitle the variable i will entitle it currency and click on save and it will be inserted in the currency table since i have already created a variable using this method so i'm not going to save this i will discard these changes and choose the exist variable here you go now simply go to triggering for begin checkout event although i have already created a trigger but i would like to show you how to create that so click on triggering then click on this plus icon then trigger configuration then choose from here custom event the event name will be go to tag assistant tab and copy from here this event name begin checkout then go to google tag manager tab and paste here begin checkout and then entitle the trigger begin checkout and then save since i have created this trigger so i'm going to use that so discard these changes and choose from here begin checkout then entitle the tag i will entitle it google ads begin checkout and then save here you go our tag is created like if i go to tag section then we can see this is the google ads begin checkout tag now it's time to check if the tag is working properly now i will go to google ads account again and then click here done to complete this setup here you go this is the begin checkout conversion tag for google ads we can see its status is inactive but when we will run ads campaign with this account and it will start collecting data of begin checkout conversions then its status will be active now we should check if the tag we have created a while ago on gtm is working properly so i will close the previous preview mode then go to google tag manager and go to preview again then enter here the website url and click on connect here you go tag assistant connected now let's make a begin checkout then add to cart then checkout here you go we can see we are on checkout page so now let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue we can see here our google ads begin checkout tag has been fired one time that means it's working here properly 
Now if I go to Google Ads account and then refresh this page, then we can see that the conversion tax status has been changed from inactive to no recent conversions and that's because of getting signal from our preview mode. When it will get real signals from ads campaign, then its status again will be changed from no recent conversions to active. And again, if I go to tag assistant tab and click on this Google ads begin checkout tag and from properties, click show more, then we can see then this tag is passing currency code and also passing the conversion value. So now we can say our tag is working properly. And in the last but not the least, we must have to publish our GTM container. Otherwise, the tag will not be working in the real cases. So click on submit and give the version a name. I will name it Google Ads Begin Checkout Tag Setup. And then publish. So that's all for now. If you think that this tutorial has added some value to you, please give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new to my channel and like to see my upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, see you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.